Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of Sailing Doodles. My name is Bobby White, this is Maverick and Goose, and uh, the purpose of this YouTube channel and the videos I'm going to make are basically to document our trip around the world. We uh, have a boat under contract. I've already, as you can see by the lack of furniture in my apartment, that uh, I've pretty much sold everything so far. Uh, I've got a few things left to sell, but I'm in the process of selling everything. And uh, we've got a boat under contract, and move down to it in a few weeks, get it prepped and ready to go. And uh, so I'm going to post a couple videos a month um, of our journeys and, you know, I thought it'd be interesting to see what it's like to live on a smaller sailboat, it's 37 feet, with a couple 90 pound Labradoodles. So uh, i kind of introduce uh, myself and the dogs and then uh, kind of get going with the first video. My name is Bobby White. I was uh, a professional pilot for a long time until I had a little bit of a health incident last year. Basically I had a vein in my brain that started leaking and well, long story short, I can't fly anymore. So I did, I did some real estate for a little bit, and uh, you know, I did okay in that. I just wasn't real satisfied with it. wasn't my kind of work. And then I was like, I've always wanted to buy a boat and sail around the world. I figured, why not do it now? Uh, you know, there's nothing holding me back here to do it, so I'm going. So that's my little story here. I've done some sailing, but I'm really not experienced at all. I've only chartered a 35-foot Beneteau once in the, in the Caribbean, and I had a little you know, lake sailors and stuff like that, but that's it. So, I'll introduce the dogs here. This is Maverick, hey, get up, come on, get up. Hey, say hi, this is Maverick. He is, they're both six years old, um, just a few months over, six months old. He is a very sweet dog, but he's very shy. He's, he's good around other dogs and he's not afraid of stuff, but people, like if somebody were to walk in right now, he would go hide in my closet, he's just real shy. Goose is kind of the alpha of the group, he, uh, Basically, he kind of, he doesn't bully, but he's, you know, he gets his way. He's, he's, he's a little shy of people too, but he's, he's more friendly. He'll come right up to you. But hey, if you ever see us out sailing around or in the Caribbean, just say, hey, Maverick Goose, come on, let's do that. So, uh, so uh, we post every, every other week or so. Um, and so if you really like what you see at the end, I would really uh, ask you to click the subscribe button that should appear right here. It really helps out draw traffic to my site and all that. And the reason I'm doing that, trying to get traffic, is because I have a Patreon site, which you can go to there. Basically, the Patreon is it's kind of like Kickstarter Indiegogo, but you can do it for video artists and regular artists and stuff like that. So that you know you can pledge to donate a dollar or two or three um, or more um, per video I make. And well, now they're lazy. But anyway, that really helps us keep going because uh, I mean I have a limited amount of funds to go. If I didn't buy an expensive boat, a very very affordable choke, probably cost less than your car. Uh, and uh, you know, just have an eye. Anyway, it'll help us. So if you like to see, please do that. Pass the word, whatever. Anyway, um, here is uh, the first episode. Hope you like it. There'll be more to come. There here. Uh, most of my furniture's gone. I've sold a lot of my tools and everything. Next thing you know, the TV's gonna go. All that stuff's gone. The boys are getting excited down here, aren't you? We're actually uh, dog sitting right here, these two. Um, anyway, it's getting kind of bare in here. Uh, I'm excited about it. This weekend, going down to Houston area to look at a few boats. I've got five or six I want to see, and hopefully, you know, I find the right one. Uh, you know, uh, and I figure it'll take, you know, a little, uh, pick out the right one, hopefully this weekend if I find it. Get a survey next week and all that and get it done. and ready to start stocking it and get it to go November 1st. Um, anyway, I'm excited. So stay tuned for more updates uh, and we'll get going. I know they're excited, aren't you? Aren't you excited? Here you are, fellas. Your fashionable life jackets. What do you think, guys? They're life jackets now. Uh, I tried to do everything goose is blue, map is red, but they didn't have red, so orange is supposed to be. Got a little handles here, so if I need to pick them up out of the water. <laughs> Let me see you. How you gonna Oop, I need to tighten that down. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> Alright. So it's got uh it's got handles for them, straps, straps. And then this thing right here is like when they're swimming, if they get tired, I think it's, it's like a float for their face. Uh, but uh, they love wearing this stuff because um, 
I took them backpacking a lot um, and uh, back in the day and they uh, so every time we put their backpacks on they knew because um, they had little backpacks very similar to this and so uh, every time we put them on they loved it because they knew they were going hiking in the, in the woods so you know maybe they'll get to learn to like this too when they're on the boat you know but it's really cool really handy I'm only gonna you know I only plan on having them wear this uh, like when I'm actually sailing, you know, if we're at anchor or whatever in marina, no, but I mean, because they can swim pretty good, but you know, if we're actually sailing somewhere, I'm going to have more. So, here you go. What do you think? What do you think, boys? You like it? All right. Friday, October 7th, I just arrived, drove down from Dallas to Houston. I uh, got it. Looking at boats in the morning. I'm excited. Meeting the, the uh, boat broker and my buddy Casey at the marina tomorrow at 9 a.m. Gonna go look at four or five boats, maybe a few more if we don't find the right one, and I'm uh, pretty excited about it. Get to see the boat? Ooh, maybe, if I find one that works. I hope I do. Because I'm on a time schedule here, but anyway, we'll get it done. Here uh, in the Kima Harbor, the marina here. Uh, the boat I want is down there. I've already looked at it once. We're gonna take a look at it again. It's a 37 foot CNC, 1980, oh gosh. I can't remember, 1984, 1987, I don't remember. So it's old, almost as old as me, but not quite. But uh, I'm excited about it, 37 foot long, it's got radar, it's got, it's a sheet, the, the sails are in good shape, the rigging's in good shape. I'm gonna have it hauled out and do a bottom job on it and everything. Um, wow, well, still haven't finalized the deal, but uh, I'm excited about it, hopefully it works out well. This is it, it's the Cool Breeze. It is a CNC 37. 37 feet long. It's in really good condition. It's got a radar. The electronics on it are pretty good. Let's see the inside. Yeah. This is it. Oh my gosh, this is it. Casey and Christy, they have a much nicer boat than I'm buying. Uh, they have a dog on the boat too, so say hi. Hi. So, we're just drinking some soda. 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 Absolutely soda. Yeah, and uh, shooting the breeze about uh, living on a boat. So they just bought this boat. It's a 48 foot meridian. Correct. And they live on this boat. And we do. Uh, they have a little dog, although their dog. Where is it? It's. If she's inside. It's a They're, she, Bob. <laughs> not she, a, not it's, it. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So. Casey lives down here in Houston. I'm going to be moving down here in a month. I just put an offer on the boat. He's going to help me fix it up and everything and get launched soon. So hopefully you'll see him some more on videos. And uh, there you go. Well, of course you will. Right. Unless I drown. I, I might. I might drown him. But, but I'll try. <laughs> it's possible. Tell him how long we've known each other. Ah, uh, we've known each other. Gosh, how long has it been? Uh, two thousand. Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. We met in two thousand. Three or four? 2003. No, 2002. Right after September 11th. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's been a long time. Anyway, all right, more to come with him. Well, it'd be nice if this was my boat, but clearly it's not. 48 foot, nice 2007 power boat. I mean, it's great now, but it's cheating. You need wind. But uh, I wouldn't say no to it. Although, I couldn't afford the gas bill. The gas bill on this thing. It's got to be pretty rough, but uh, nice. I like having this and soda.
water in a nice power boat. Sorry, it's not a sailboat, but at least we're out on the water. And uh, the good news is, is agreed on a price for the boat. So a whopping $24,000. I know I'm a big spender on the boat. Hopefully it's nice. We get a survey, of course, um, but we'll see. I'm excited about it. So, you know, just a couple more weeks, the boat will be mine, I hope. Whatever. So here's the boat that we're on currently. It's uh, pretty nice. There you go. Let me fix some hair. Yeah, fix your hair. All right, Captain Casey, where are we headed? We're heading uh, due east, young man. Haven't you been told? California is full of whiskey, women, and gold. That's west. west. That's west. That's west. So we're going opposite of, of, the, of the oil. Okay. Which is east. Opposite of oil. We're actually out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, about 200 miles offshore with nothing around us. Yeah, man, I mean, I don't see anything around Nothing around us. Nothing, nothing. Okay. The beautiful Clear Lake Lake in Houston, Texas, which isn't very clear. Okay. It's kind of a muddy pit. What's period or a sailboat? Because uh, I burn a lot of gas, and you don't. Know. Right, so... It costs a lot of money. Yeah. That's it. So those are the benefits. That's it. Okay. So there you go. All right, there you go. Love our money too. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. So of uh, sailing doodles, uh, we're going to be uh, running a few um, uh, contests coming up. Basically, we're not going to do the Bodie McBoat face type thing, but I'm going to ask you to go to uh, my website or my Patreon site and just post uh, recommendations for boat names, and then I'll come up with my top three I like the best, and I'll let everybody, all, all the patrons, vote on it. So you know, you get to name the boat, which is kind of cool. Uh, and so anyway, so if you want to subscribe, please do that or uh, if you want to link to my Patreon site so you can help support us and maybe name the boat. And also uh, another thing we're giving away is every three months I'm going to do a drawing out of my patrons and somebody gets to come down and hang out on the boat for a week. So please uh, just enjoy the series and if you do, help support it. Thank you.